I'm here in the conference room of our ministry center in Phoenix, Arizona. It's the place that you can come to for a one-on-one -on -one session to get free, stay free, and live free. Don't put it off. We welcome you. Or meet me in a seminar city, or let's connect by Skype. Either way, deal with the issues, the torment, the problems in your life that have been so long-standing for which no one's offered an answer. Deliverance and healing is likely the answer that will turn your life around. So come see us for your one-on-one -on -one personal encounter. Well, it's game on time in Washington, D.C. After years of talking about impeachment, the Democrats feel like they finally have their smoking gun in a call to the president of Ukraine. And so Nancy Pelosi and her band of not-so-merry malcontents are filing articles of impeachment. They're pro-abortion, anti-gun, Antifa crowd. They want Trump's head on a platter. So they're going to spend millions of dollars and countless hours on trying to destroy the President of the United States. Meanwhile, we have an immigration crisis. Eighty people a day die from opioid overdoses. 440,000 a month fry their brains on methamphetamines. And 2,500 babies a day are killed by abortion. And yet, with all these crises, they want to impeach Donald Trump. By the way, using your taxpayers' dollars to do it. Think of what could be done and the lives that could be saved if that money were spent elsewhere rather than trying to destroy a single individual who, by the way, was elected by the people of the United States of America. Whatever the failings of Donald Trump, there's an election coming up. Let's let the voters decide. And take that money and put it to better use, like more drug rehabilitation centers, more education on mental illness, helping people to become aware of the effects of sexual abuse and better law enforcement. They're going to impeach the president. And meanwhile, so far this year, 400 people have been murdered in Chicago. We still got three months left. Couldn't that money better be used to save lives? During a recent encounter, I noted that about half the people who came to see me were demonized because of drugs. Almost every one of them had used meth. In addition, about a third of the people in that same encounter weekend had mental health issues stemming from drug abuse and sexual abuse. I think it's time we impeach the devil. I think it's time we take the tools that we have and the resources and we put it where it's going to have the best effect to save the country. There's an evil stockiness that is far worse than a phone call to the president of Ukraine. For those who have a vendetta against the Donald, I'd like to say it's the devil we need to impeach. And the best way to do that is knowing spiritual warfare and casting out the devil to the pit of hell in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cancel curses, break soul ties, cleanse your ancestry, and cast out demons. Enroll now in the International School of Exorcism and the Advanced Academy of Deliverance. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.